Charles Louis de Secunda Baron de la Brede et de Montesquieu was born on January 19, 1689, at La Brede near Bordeaux to a noble and prosperous family. He was educated at the Oratorian College de Uli, received a law degree from the University of Bordeaux in 1708, and went to Paris to continue his legal studies. In 1715, he married Jean de Lartigue, a practicing Protestant with whom he had a son and two daughters. For the next 11 years, he presided over the Tournel, the Parliament's criminal division in which he supervised prisons and administered various punishments, including torture. Montesquieu's two most important works are the Persian Letters and the Spirit of the Laws. While these works share certain themes, most notably a fascination with non-European societies and a horror of despotism, they are quite different from one another. The Persian Letters is a novel consisting of letters sent to and from two fictional Persians, Uzbek and Rika, who set out for Europe in 1711. Many of the letters are brief descriptions of scenes or characters. At first, their humor derives mostly from the fact that Uzbek and Rika misinterpret what they see. Rika writes that the Pope is a magician who can make the king believe that three are only one, or else that the bread one eats is not bread, or that the wine drinks is not wine, and a thousand other things of the same kind. Interspersed among these descriptive letters are the Persian's reflections on what they see, the contrast between European and non-European societies, the advantages and disadvantages of different systems of government, the nature of political authority, and the property of law. The Persian Letters is both one of the funniest books written by a major philosopher and one of the bleakest. It presents both virtue and self-knowledge as almost unattainable. Almost all the Europeans in the Persian Letters are ridiculous, most of those who are not appear only to serve as a mouthpiece for Montesquieu's own views. Montesquieu's aim in the spirit of the laws is to explain human laws and social institutions. On his view, the key to understanding different laws and social systems is to recognize that they should be adapted to a variety of different factors and cannot be properly understood unless one considers them in this light. In the spirit of the laws, Montesquieu goes over the forms of government, liberty, climate and geography, commerce, and religion. Montesquieu holds that there are three types of governments, republican governments which can take either aristocratic or democratic forms, monarchies, and despotism. In a democracy, the people are sovereign. They may govern through ministers or be advised by a senate, but they have the power of choice. In an aristocracy, one part of the people governs the rest. The principle of an aristocratic government is moderation. In a monarchy, one person governs by fixed and established laws. According to Montesquieu, these laws are necessarily supposed the intermediate channels through which the monarch's power flows. In despotic states, a single person directs everything by his own will and caprice without laws to check him. According to Montesquieu, political liberty is not the freedom to do whatever we want. In Montesquieu's climate theory, he says that climate may substantially influence the nature of man and his society. He goes so far as to assert that certain climates are superior to others, the temperate climate of France being ideal. All the ways in which a country might seek to enrich itself, Montesquieu believes commerce is the only one without overwhelm. Religion plays only a minor part in the spirit of the laws. God is described in Book 1 as creating nature and its laws, but then vanishes. In 1721, Montesquieu published the Persian Letters, which was an instant success and made Montesquieu a literary celebrity, and he wrote other minor works. In 1728, he was elected to the Académie Française despite some religious opposition and shortly thereafter left France to travel abroad. On his return to France in 1731, troubled by failing eyesight, Montesquieu returned to La Brede and began work on his masterpiece, The Spirit of the Laws. The Roman Catholic Church placed The Spirit of the Laws on the Index of Forbidden Books in 1751. In 1755, Montesquieu died of a fever in Paris, leaving behind an unfinished essay on taste for the Encyclopedia of Diderot and D. Albert.